Computational biology represents uh, a number of different related disciplines within the field of biology. What they share in common is their need for quantitative insights. This includes things like genomics, uh, bioinformatics, statistical modeling or mathematical modeling, uh, all of which are becoming more heavily represented in the field of biology today. My lab studies the processing of mRNA, essentially how mRNA gets created, can get processed, and ultimately becomes a functional molecule. And to do that, we use both functional genomics, very high throughput techniques, and a fair amount of computational, statistical, and mathematical tools to analyze the data that we generate. I think over the last 20 years, what we've seen is that the nature of biological data itself has really, quite, it's really changed quite a bit, going from things that were um, really quite qualitative in nature, uh, us describing or observing things, to us really wanting to put uh, discrete numbers on the things we're seeing, and then uh, by looking at those numbers, seeing that there's opportunities to be had, uh, opportunities to learn more about, about the underlying processes that drive biology through the quantitative insights. There is um, an understanding and an increasing appreciation that using both quantitative and computational tools to actually analyze the data will allow you to both test hypotheses but also generate many new hypotheses and that's why I think it's uh, becoming um, an increasingly appreciated tool on campus. When I finished my undergrad I knew I wanted to do computational biology but most of the programs re required some type of experience and I didn't have anything. So um, UMass has, th has this umbrella program that allows to students from different backgrounds to do computational biology or any type of science at all. Um, so that was a good start for me. I was a biochemistry major in undergrad, uh, so it wasn't really something that I considered as a possibility in undergrad, but uh, coming into grad school, um, UMass, I think, has a really great infrastructure for taking people from no experience to having you know, a lot of experience and considering themselves computational biologists. If we give basic training to people with good biological intuition and good biological training, what we're often able to see is that the students can unlock a really unknown competency, that they're really quite, quite talented in these areas. Most of the students in my lab came in with very little programming or very little computational experience, but um, are, are certainly getting a ton of experience on the ground. And I think that's in some ways the most practical and um, most fulfilling way to actually learn some of these skill sets.